Well, hello, chair. So this chair is made by Ewen Racing. They reached out to me and sent me, uh, well, they offered first to send me a chair uh, in exchange for doing a review. I'm also going to be posting this review up on YouTube later, um, which is pretty different kind of content for my YouTube channel, but people there might find it interesting. So thank you for the follow, Marta Mueller. So hello, YouTube, and I'm sorry if you'll be confused by the Twitch alerts that may also be happening while we're talking. Uh, <laughs> so, right. Um, Ewan Racing reached out to me and we're like, hey, we'd like to send you one of our chairs and then you could do a review of the chair. So I was in the market for a new chair and I thought, why not? Why not? Because gaming chairs are kind of pricey uh, and if I like it, great, I can give them a good review. And if I don't like it, then I can keep other people from spending money on a chair that isn't very good, maybe. So I, uh, yeah, Dutch Yoda says, hello, future me on YouTube. Um, so I said yes to it. Now I have been using uh, like an Aeron chair, it's just off frame right over there, that I borrowed from my partner's office while no one was working there that will need to be returned. And that's one reason why I was like, I'm used to sitting in a pretty good chair and I'm gonna need to replace it with something. And it was, like I said, toying with the idea of getting a gaming chair anyway. So this one came in, I chose this, basically the person I talked to there found out my like height and weight and was like, here are the chairs we have available that would be best for your size, basically. And so I chose from that and I chose this one. This is a, I'm gonna tell you exactly what it is so that you know, because I want you to have full disclosure on our thing. Okay, so this is the Calling Series chair. Um, and it looks like <laughs> this, uh, except it also, I'll show you this in a minute. Um, and I got it in pink, because they didn't have purple. Now, let me tell you, if they had had purple, I would have chosen purple, because I much prefer purple. But I went with pink. Pink is not normally like a color that I choose for things, but um, but I, I don't mind it. So yeah, excuse me. Uh, what is your size in chairs, ma'am? Um, and I also actually, just so that y'all also have full disclosure on everything. So the price of this chair on their website is $359. It is currently on sale right now for $249. If, I so I just want y'all to know like what I got in exchange for this review. I am going to, be really honest with you about what I think about the chair pros and cons and know that E1 Racing is not sponsoring me but they did send me the chair and I said I would do a review after sitting in it for a couple of weeks so I want to share with you what I think now they do have if you are interested and I only say this in case you decide at the end of this discussion that you are interested in this chair I just dropped a link in chat. That is an affiliate link for me. You don't need to use that. I don't care about making any sort of commission off of this review at all. Um, but if you are interested, the most important thing is there is a discount code. You can get 20% off. You can see it there at the bottom of the command with my name. And that's important because I love y'all. And if you decide you're interested in this, you should be able to get a discount. So that's all my full disclosure of things. Okay. Hi, Palachino. Thank you for the follow, Prima seven one one two seven six five. That's a lot of numbers. Um, okay, I have I have notes here of what I wanted to talk about. So the first thing that happened is I know Kevin O'Heat. I wanted it in purple. They have like a hot pink color in some models uh, that I didn't realize that I wish I had realized because maybe I would have gotten the hot pink instead of like the baby pink. But okay, so. The chair arrived and I had to assemble it, of course. Um, my dad was in town when it showed up and <laughs> Sass Green, I was gonna make a joke about you being a corporate shill, but I like you too much. Sassy. <gasps> Thank you for subscribing with your prime, Primus. Um, also again, YouTube, sorry for all of these. Uh, maybe I'll try and edit them out or maybe I won't. So the chair arrived and my dad was in town and I had to put it together and my dad helped me and y'all my dad is pretty handy in terms of like he's a pretty handy guy 
we had a hard time putting this chair together I'll be honest um I found the instructions to be a little bit confusing and just like the process of actually putting the chair together was not like the easiest thing I've ever had to do there's no way I could have put it together without him by the way I could not have put this together on my own by myself I could not have done that um so I was kind of annoyed when we were done putting the chair together I was kind of ready to not like the chair I was that annoyed after having to assemble it but <laughs> reality um the chair is actually really comfortable so I'm glad I got past the point of being annoyed that I found it kind of difficult to put together here's one thing I will say so there are these little I'm gonna grab my webcam and try and show you some things um Hopefully there's enough light in the room. So I'm going to cover my webcam up while I'm moving it so y'all don't get all like motion sick. But hopefully I can get this uh, done in a way that it's not getting all tangled up. I'm hoping to show you. Let me see if I can do it. Okay. So, hi. Yeah, you're way down here now. I want to show you. It's, uh, it's too dark. But there is. Where is it at? <laughs> You can't see it because it's too dark here. But there's a little like hole right here. You can actually see like my finger goes inside of that. See, that's a that's where you like screw some pieces together and there's a little plastic cover that goes over that so it looks nice on both sides. They both broke immediately. So that is not great. Um, <laughs> that's the simulation of what it's like to be Luna. Um, so those broke. So I was kind of annoyed about that. But honestly, at this point, I. I don't care that much um but at the time I was like cool those broke immediately so know that um but then let me put this back oh I was gonna cover it up so y'all didn't get like motion sickness and then I forgot again let me put this back for a second because I want to show you more of what's on the chair things that I like like as well um boy this is gonna take me forever to do isn't it um okay so the chair comes I'm just going to show it to you comes with these pillows a little head pillow and like a lumbar support pillow they strap in so if I had this on it would strap in up through these little openings and then it's got these little um, clips like seatbelt buckles 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 is the word I'm looking for um, and these go down through the seat so that you can like adjust kind of where this is I think this lumbar pillow is incredibly uncomfortable it does not work for my back and I, after like five minutes of sitting with it I took it off and have not ever wanted to put it back on this head pillow is great I love the head pillow I think it's like perfect for me I'm like mm, yeah like I'm into the head pillow so with the lumbar off it just it needs like a little dip in it it's not conformed to my body it might work for yours but not mine um but uh I really like the the, the neck pillow, I find that to be really helpful. Was the chair fighting back against your protest against his color? Maybe so. Um, okay. Then we've got all kinds of stuff. So we have, let me just back up a little so you y'all can see a little better. Okay. So you've got your little, uh, <laughs> where is it at? Here, so this is your little handle to raise or lower the seat. I have it down as low as it'll go. But look, it comes up to there. That's just uh, that's a little bit high for me. My feet already don't fully touch the floor in this chair, so that is like I'm swinging like I'm a six-year-old. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then you've got this handle. This goes back very far. I'm going to show you how far back it goes. You can recline the chair like all the way. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know why you would do that, what use that is, but you can't. It's actually not uncomfortable. So that's pretty handy. Oof. And it goes up very, you can sit very straight in it. But this is, I think this is great being able to adjust it. It's pretty nice. And it rolls real good. And then these go up and down really easily just with the little, like, push button. Um, so I'm, I've been a fan. I didn't think I would like the armrests because they're like plasticky, but actually I do like them. Can you catapult a cat with it? Paula in the dentist chairs. <laughs> so 
It also, here's another thing, and I'm gonna move the um, camera in a minute to show you this. It has, uh, you can like lean back in it. There's an adjustment you can make that um, lets you rock back in it more or less, which at first I thought this doesn't rock at all, but it's just because I had it, I didn't have it adjusted right. And you can lean back and rock, which is nice, except here's one, here's a downside. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna cover this up again. Uh, I'm going to try and show you what I'm talking about. Okay. You need to be able to see my feet for this. So let me see if I can make that happen. So if you can see, the my heels are not touching the ground. I don't know how well you can tell that. But my feet don't fully touch the ground here. So I can't actually get very good leverage to... Um, to lean back to do the rocking. So I have to have, I have a little like foot rest thing um, that I use and the, that's the only way I can actually rock in it is if I have my feet propped up on that because otherwise I don't, I don't have the leverage to rock back. So if you're short, that's kind of a deal. Um, <laughs> Quantum Jack, I'll be honest, that's why I went, I went and ran and put shoes on because I knew I was going to show you my feet. Um, but I think the ultimate thing we want to talk about is, do I like this chair? Uh, hi, Ref. Thank you for being a subscriber for 37 months. Um, Zilgi says, another short person joke here. Too easy to make the jokes today. Um, it's really comfortable. I really, I genuinely, I really like the chair. I'm happy that I have it. And I will, am going to continue sitting. Now that my obligation to do a review is over, I'm going to keep sitting in it. Again, probably without the lumbar support. But, like, it's really comfortable. My back feels supported without the lumbar. I really like that I can recline in it. The best thing, I'm going to do this again, and I hope this isn't too weird, but um, is the seat of the chair. So I just want to show you, if I can. Sorry, that's my desk. Um... So this is the seat of the chair. It's really cushioned, it's flat. It's got this nice cushioned, the way the sides come up are cushioned. On my Aeron chair that I've been using, those were not cushioned. And I sit like this in my chair a lot. I sit cross-legged or I sit kind of with my legs tucked up quite a bit. And in my Aeron chair that I had been sitting in, that was uncomfortable because it has these hard plastic edges that my legs would hit. But in this, they're cushioned and it's actually really comfortable to sit cross legged in this chair. Uh, and I'm a big fan of that. So yes, I'll review the desk next. And um, I have my, my notes to make sure I'm saying all the things I wanted to say. I don't normally do reviews of anything, so it's so bizarre, right? Um, so, I guess the only thing is I like to slouch down sometimes while I'm working and I can't really do that in this chair. Maybe if I leaned it back more. Um, but yeah, so that's basically my thoughts on the chair. And uh, overall, I would say I like it. I don't know how it compares to other gaming chairs because I've never had another gaming chair. And yeah, but I, I'm a fan, and I, uh, I, what work can I do sat like that? Sometimes when I'm, like, editing, I'll, like, slouch down <laughs> from watching a rules video. Um, so, this is, yeah, I don't know. Does anyone have any questions about the chair? And then we'll, we'll play our game. And But you've seen me, if you've been around for a little while, hey, Vince Boson, you've seen me playing, streaming in this chair now for, like, three weeks. Um, and I, I have had actually less, my back hurts a lot less in this chair than how I was sitting in the other one. I think because I can control the recline on it, it makes a big difference for me. Does this chair make it easier to kill people in the street? Yes. Fine Art Films missed it, but I can, um, how does my back, back and neck feel after a long stream? Not bad, like a lot better. I honestly haven't had too many sore, like my back hasn't been hurting me as much as it has, um, in the past, it's, I think it's pretty supportive. All right, so we're reclining all the way back again. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, look, oh gosh. Okay, it's fine, it's all the way back. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm trying! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
so yeah that's my review of the ewin chair um what is the chair's opinion on me probably that i've got like a bony butt or something because i've been told that uh so yeah that's that i'll just say one more time thank you for listening to me talk about this chair if you are interested in your own there's your info for you but i don't make your own decision buy the chair if you want it if you don't i don't care don't use the affiliate link if you don't want to i'm not doing this because i'm getting i'm not getting paid anything to do this i just got sent the chair and I wanted to share that, uh, how I felt about it with you. Would I buy it for you, TX Parka? I wish. I wish I could buy all of you this chair. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So that's my review. Thank you for being here for that.